At first, you are gonna see a series bag on the top. The black gasket is one of the backup parts. It is used on the bottom of the tank. If you lose one by accident, then this can be a replacement. Next, the back part is a plastic washer, which is used together with the metal screws on the lighting panel and tank. Without it, you will have a problem to fix the lighting panel and tank on the metal pole. The last back part is a screw nut. It's used in the lighting panel. Without it, the lighting panel cannot be saved on the metal pole. The rest are the clips and 3M stickers, which are to fix the power cord on the metal pole to make the indoor garden look tidier. The series back, you will see the instruction. You can assemble it according to the diagrams on this instruction. The metal pole is a key part to connect the lighting panel and tank. It also completes this indoor garden's heat adjustable function. Here is the lighting panel. It offers our plants the light they need in growth. Now please take a look at this part. You can see the screw nut inside. Only with this screw nut can the screw fix on the metal pole. And this is the thank you card. You can contact us via the contact on this card if you have any problem with our product. Okay, this is the tank and you can see lots of other parts inside it. Here we go. This is the smart soil that come with in the garden. There are two holes on the smart soil. The small hole is for holding seeds and the big bottom hole is for helping roots breathe better. Please don't put it upside down or it will have too much water to kill your plants. Let's take out all the soils out first. Now you can see 10 tidy planting baskets inside the tank. And this is the plant basket, which is for holding the offered smart soil. And you can put soil into a basket like this. This is the cover of the tank. You can see lots of holes which is to hold other series like plant baskets or level indicator and so on. Insert the wall level stick into the tube if reinstallation needed. There are two nodes on the water level stick. One represents minimum water level, the other one represents the maximum. Under the cover there are such a series. And this is a funnel. You can add water from this into the tank. In the tank, there are 10 pieces of transparent domes. They are used to create a greenhouse effect for your seedlings. These are the white plant markers. You can mark what you grow on here. And this is the adapter with switch, which you can control the lights on and off. Now, let's look at the tank's bottom. You can see four black gaskets here. These black gaskets enable the indoor garden to have any slip function. Let's screw out this for further installation. Please make sure this washer is along with the screw or the metal pole cannot be fixed firmly. At first let's insert the metal pole into the tank's bottom, then screw in to fix the metal pole. Secondly insert the funnel into the hole on the cover, then put the cover on the top of the tank. Thirdly, screw out the screw with washer on the lighting panel. Firstly make the cord go across the metal pole and screw in the screw to fix the lighting panel with the metal pole. The lighting panel's height can be adjusted when your plants are getting taller. The next step is to connect the power cord with the adapter. Now, let's insert all the baskets and soils into the cover. Then, put 3-5 to five seeds into every small hole of the soil. After putting the seeds into the soils, let's put the domes above the basket. You can remove domes when the seedlings reach the domes. Usually, it will take 7 days to see your seedlings. Before you plug in, you can choose to use these clips and 3M stickers to fix the power cord to the metal pole to make it look tidier. Okay. The last step is to turn on the switch and the indoor garden starts working. The building smart timer will run automatically as well.